when the results were actually announced, by that time we had a pretty good sense that we were going to win. My, my mother-in-law, who uh, you know, grew up on the south side of Chicago, worked as a secretary, working class, had, had worked all her life to allow Michelle and, and her brother to, to go to some of the best schools in the country. Um, she was sitting on the couch and um, I could tell she just seemed um, like it wasn't clear how all this had happened. <laughs> Uh, and I, 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 I sat next to her and I, I, I grabbed her hand and we held hands just as it was announced that the projections were I was going to, to win. And uh, I said, you know, how are you feeling? And uh, they said, well, it, it's just a little overwhelming, isn't it? <laughs> and, and, you know, you thought about what this must be like for her even more than for me or Michelle. Um, as somebody who grew up in a deeply segregated Chicago, uh, who um, despite her talents, or her husband's talents, or you know, the experiences of her, her father and grandparents, uh, there were always barriers, there were always limits to what they could achieve. Um, you know, for her to see this moment where suddenly, even if not all problems were solved and not uh, you know, all uh, issues of, of discrimination and the legacies of slavery and Jim Crow had s suddenly vanished the way I think some people naively uh, projected. What, what was true for her was that something she might not have ever imagined possible had, had happened and her daughter was going to be the next first lady of the United States. So. Um, seeing it through her eyes, I think, was uh, uh, made it a little more special.